Hello, Pasta. Hello, Hello boss. Pasta. 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 How are you? You alright? God bless you too. Bless you. Bless you. you okay? Boss. Yes. Have a good day today? Yeah. You're tired? Sure. Yeah, the rain was just a little bit. Just... Oh, you rain? Look, it's, it's sunny me. outside. Yeah, it's, it's sunny outside, outside now. Amen. Yes. <laughs> 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 it's been like serious. Yeah. Serious, yeah. 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 I know, when, school, when yeah. I was out with my dogs, it was the same thing, it was raining. And I had to talk to it, and I said, stop. It didn't stop till I almost got home. <laughs> <laughs> it is I know, maybe it's just fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I stopped it three times, it stopped. Then after a while, it's yeah, that's oh, exactly. you're this yeah. boss, you can't stop me. I have to, this is my yeah. time. So no, okay. that's exactly what happened to me too. <laughs> a few times it stopped, I said, ah, oh, thank you, Lord. And as I and carried on, it happened again. Yeah. Yeah. Some blessings needed to come out yeah, after amen. the rain, so yeah. it was for your own good. Amen. Yep. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Welcome, welcome everyone. Amen. Another week of uh, Bible study. Hope you've had a good week, amen. a good day today. We welcome you all. Um, Pastor, do you want to lead us in some prayers before we start? Amen. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts and have your way. As we 
wait, wait on you as we wait. We pray to you, feel our heart. Wait on you, wait in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's up? Shine, 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 shine. In Jesus' name. How are you doing? Amen. What is our topic today? I wrote a few things. Okay. Yeah. So last Sunday you said when it was the book of John, I think you mentioned this, and you said when Jesus is in heaven, is with the Father, is is he in the Father or with the Father? Yeah. In the Father, and when he's on earth, he's with the Father. No, when uh, you say, I am my Father, and my Father is with me, you still use the word in. Okay, so which verse, which scripture was that again? John, John 7. They use uh, two scriptures. They use twenty eleven twenty seven. Also use John fourteen. John fourteen eleven or John fourteen twenty seven. It was the, it was the John that you mentioned last Sunday. Twenty eleven twenty seven was the No one know the father except the son. And no one knows the son except the father. So John 14, 20, 20 or 11 says, On that day you will know that I am in my father and you are in me. Believe me that I am in the father and the father but, is in me. Yeah, but 14, 11 says, Believe me that I am in the father and the father is in me. Mm -hmm. That's 14, 11. John 14, mm -hmm. 11. And yeah. 20, you say, at that day, ye shall know that I am in my father, in ye, in me, yeah, and that I one am is in that, at that day. Okay. On that day. So you said, when Jesus is in heaven, he is in the father. Yeah. And when he is on earth, the father is in him. The father is in him. So what about us? No, that time you... We, we said that time when he has not died. It was when he died and, we started, Holy Spirit. and we started receiving him. Yeah? When we started receiving him, there's two sides. The Bible says, if any man is in Christ, if being that the man must make a decision to receive Jesus before he can be in Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, even my Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Because everything has come. Mm -hmm. But because he used the word creation, he is a new creation, means that uh, the man just received Jesus. Mm -hmm. As you're talking, uh, the, 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 I just um, heard a scripture in my, in my ears, but I'm not, I, don't, I heard the word, but I'm not, um, where it says that there are three things in heaven, the blood, the water. What? As you were saying it, I just heard that. Okay, yeah. There are three witnesses. Is it in third John? Um. First John five seven. Okay, first John, first John about the three five seven. So I'm trying to understand the link because I I I, ju I heard it so clearly. So um, as you you were saying that uh, when I'm in heaven, uh, my father is in me. And then, so I just Verse heard. Seven says, Therefore, there are three that bear record of witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. 
and these three are one. But he said, there are three things that bear witness in the heads, the spirit, the water, and the blood. The spirit, the water, and the blood is still talking about one person. Yeah. And you mentioned heaven and earth. Yeah. So now I understand why I received that okay. scripture now. Okay, I understand. You see, so seven says, for there are three, three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And these three things are one. And you said, Jesus said when, so you, you said that when Jesus is in heaven, he's in the Father. And when he's on earth, the wow. Father is in him. Mm -hmm. And now it says, there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit the water and the blood and these three agree in one so i'm trying to process it because yeah. as soon as you said it i heard the scripture yeah because uh, you know jesus came to the head to to give us the spirit you can see the spirit here is in cap the s is in capitalism mm -hmm. yeah now uh like I said some time ago, that um, Holy Spirit, yeah, works in three. Uh, he works with three dimension of light. Mm. In the outer court, Holy Spirit. I think we've done it in church. Yeah, you, you in the said outer court, Holy Spirit looks to us as Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still Holy Spirit, even in the holy place and in the same. But in the holy place, it relates what as the Spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. In the outer court, it doesn't it doesn't express itself. You know, in the holy in, in the Spirit of the Lord, they are seven. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of wisdom, of might, of counsel. So in the outer court, it doesn't come and show us all those things because we are still babes. We cannot undo those kind of things. Mm. But in the holy place, he, he began to, you know, showcase himself. Mm -hmm. Then in the most holy place, he led us as the spirit of God. So you see your Bible sometimes say the spirit of the Lord comes upon me. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes you see the spirit of God. It's still that it's still it's still one Holy Spirit, but in different oh, yeah. offices or offices. Man, yeah. I remember there's a particular man of God when he said that I I didn't agree, but now I understand where he was coming from. You know, sometimes when some, some people explain some things, they they let me just quickly they explain and sometimes they don't they, don't they, they might not elaborate. yeah they might not remember that in, someone else is listening or, yeah. Of, yeah so he was explaining he said the holy spirit will only tell you things about god and nothing else so i did not agree because the holy i relate to the holy spirit in my everyday life even if i cannot find my keys I would ask him and he would show me where it is. So I told myself, so in this context, what is he talking about? Yes. So with what you are saying, I understand what he, he meant so at that time. So he, he was talking about like at a different level, but the Holy Spirit still ministered to us in our everyday life. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to mention it. So now I see what he meant. Uh, if he had said it that way, then... You know, in John 1 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was, and God. The word was God. God. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning, there is pointing to Genesis 1 1. Mm. You say in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now okay. you need to you need skills to explain the Bible. Mm -hmm. If you check uh, Revelation, the Lord says, "I am the beginning and the end." Mm -hmm. 
he was able to explain that because you know the book of Revelation, most people don't want to go there. <laughs> because it's a little bit deep. Now, it was let's let's go there. Should be like um, I am the beginning, what the end. Revelation 22, Revelation 1 also says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, which also means the beginning and the end. Because the word Alpha means the beginning, mm -hmm. the Omega means the end. But normally in uh, Revelation 22, 13, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto you, unto him that is a task of the fountain of the waters of life freely. Hmm? I don't want us to go deep in this thing because it's our values. So when I you say the scripture again, Revelation 1 8. Revelation 1 it just says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. And Revelation 22 13. Well, Revelation 22 13 says, I'm the beginning. You can see, Revelation, that's the scripture. That's the scripture. The Bible that's the, code. That's the verse that ended the Bible. As in, that's the chapter that ended the Bible. Anyways, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. So, now, because you can see the last chapter, mm -hmm. you know, God, Jesus was still, how would I put it? The last verse or the last chapter, mm -hmm. Jesus has come, has become man, and everything has been, you know, uh, put under his feet. Mm -hmm. You know, so he can now say, I am. The beginning and the end. Okay. But in Genesis 1 1, it was still in. It was what? He said it was in Genesis 1 1, it was still in the Father ah, okay. or in God. He said, you say, uh, to yes. the second scripture, the other scripture says, yeah, there three are three things. Yeah. There, there are three things that bear witness in heaven mm -hmm. the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So at that time it was still the world. Okay. Even right now it's still the world. But okay. it was the world in an invisible way. Like what we speak. Imagine what you've been speaking all this while that you cannot see. All of them now form and become one physical person that you can relate with. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning or in the beginning, you cannot see this world. It's in you. Is in you, but now, so in John one one was referring to in the beginning. I mean, in the beginning was the world, and the world was with God. You know, when we're talking about God, we're talking about the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Yeah, the Father, which is the Godhead. Hmm? So. But you discover that there was a time Jesus was even referring himself as the Father. Because the Father is like the office. So when he said, if you see me, you have seen, seen the, the Father. Father. Yes. Some One of them was asking, where is the Father? Father. He said, how can you be asking? He said, show us the Father. He said, why are you asking the Father? I've been with you for quite mm -hmm. you know, some time, some time now. now. Mm -hmm. And when the uh, man was asking, show us the father. See, God does Jesus doesn't understand Jesus doesn't um how would I put it? Interpret outer court words with himself. If like I say show show us, show me the loner, or show me loner now. You know, if I say it to you, like show me loner, if you can just point Lona to me. <laughs> but Jesus doesn't interpret the word show like in the physical manifestation. 
Are you getting it? Because that script, that uh, answer Jesus gave to them, I promise you, they still got confused. Show me the Father. Show us the Father. I will be with you. Why do you want to know? Why do you want okay, to see the Father? Because the Father is in Him. Yeah. All the activity, nobody can see the Father. The Father can be seen by the activity of His works. If you relate those to the activities of the Father. But you, like you said, you need to have an insight. Yeah, when, that's why I say when Jesus, when they ask Jesus, show. Yeah? Mm. Because they were like the, the interpretation of yeah. that show yeah. is like reveal the Father to us. Yeah. It's like a child asking you, ah, show me my present. And you know, I have got your present, but he said, show it to me, I want to see it now. Yes. It's something similar to that. So they were asking that, can yeah. you show us the father. physical father? Yeah. <laughs> but he was not interpreting, he was not understanding, how would I put it? He was not uh, comprehending, the, comprehending yeah. the show, like a physical show. He said, I've got everything I've done to you. All the uh, the teaching, the, works the word, yeah. the, this this is the, the this is the father, father yeah. through me. Yeah. Yes, mm. this is the father. I've been showing you father. Why are you still asking me for the father? But they were asking for physical father because at that time they've not even comprehended what uh, uh, all the word of God. Imagine he went to the uh, temple and he said, if you don't eat my flesh. They wanted to stone him. Nah. Are you out of your mind? How, would I, how can we come and be eating, eating your flesh? It's not possible. My blood. They don't understand. Mm. So, but he was trying to say that if you don't, uh, if you don't, I, I was, I saw someone yesterday, I was just laughing on my new page to say, Oh, all this die to serve, die to serve that everybody is talking about. That is wrong. The what? Die to self. All this de 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 deny, deny yourself. yourself. Deny yourself. That is wrong. That Jesus has done it all for us. <laughs> I wanted to tell them that. Oh, if Jesus has done it for us, then why did all the apostles, all the disciples die a martyr death? They're supposed to also be claiming that, oh, Jesus has done it for us. You don't need to yeah. try to serve, try to serve. So, you know, sometimes you just see, you just scroll like you don't understand. I mean, it's just their state, their level. We definitely have to yeah. die to self because even what the flesh, what your flesh wants no, to do sometimes. That Jesus has done everything <laughs> Imagine on the cross. Imagine you, you allow, you allow everything that. Uh, just because uh, G, uh, you have the excuse that Jesus has already. It's like, okay, it's like what then, you're saying is similar to this. That would be crazy. Oh, I can go and commit murder. Ah, Jesus will forgive my sins because he's already died for my yeah. sins. So I'll go and commit a murder. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so. Because you know, when we were not safe, who cares? Yeah. Not, who cares, yeah, Jude? Yeah. Who cares? I was, I was there, so who cares? I'm, not, I'm speaking it, from experience. To you, it's, <laughs> your conscience does not. Yeah. Yeah, there is nothing in... wrong with that. Somebody this, says something. I'm something. not going to name it, but this, that, that, you know, this, there's nothing wrong with that. Because there are many Your things. Your conscience, yeah. but when you, it you will can. minister to you, there is, and you, there are some things you need to start putting, putting off. So you cannot say he did everything because you have to, it won't be with your own strength. The Holy Spirit will help you, but you need to put those things off. That's what they talk about, uh, putting off the old man. And yes. yes. So like, like say, okay, yeah. uh, all this teaching of putting off the old man, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Jesus has put off the old man for us. We don't need to put off any old man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, with that kind of thing, we would think like the whole man has gone. Because the Bible says whole things are passed away. Yeah. You know? And the reason why the Bible says all things are passed away, imagine the tabernacle of Moses, which was uh, Christ in shadow. Mm -hmm. So they say, shall Christ in reality put that tabernacle, put it out. That is still Christ in reality. Yeah? Mm. Now, though the tabernacle now, which is like say the the the, the tabernacle of Moses, yeah, put it in a way like this this tabernacle, exactly how Tapotoli Pizamosoli are still in Christ. Yes, 
they are still in Christ, the reality of Christ right now. But this reality, this Christ that we're talking about is not made by human hands. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Yeah. It's made by, because you can see God shown yeah. Moses how to make the tabernacle. So it means that the tabernacle is already in the heavens. Yeah. Somebody has a blueprint. Yes. Yeah. Let's say that, oh, uh, um, I gave you an, an idea. Yeah? He said, here's the spirit man, the inspiration of the Almighty. Give him understanding. Yeah. So God, there is something called the inspiration of your Almighty. Almighty also have has his own inspiration. Has his bridge. Now, let's say this idea that I gave you to make this thing. Yeah? So, Making this thing means that the blueprint of this thing is already in heaven. It's just that the one that is in heaven is not made by hands. Human hands. So, uh, oh, all this tabernacle of Moses and uh, all this, is yes, it something called outer courts, holy place, and the most holy, even in Christ. Mm -hmm. So, say, if any man is in Christ, now you enter into Christ. You are no more of this world. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You don't think like, though you may still think, because he is a new creature, means that when you when you see the word creature, yeah, it means that you are you are you are in Christ, but you are in the outer court. You are in, at the beginning, you are, you just enter into Christ. That's why they say that's what that's what they say. When you are being created, you are in the outer court. When you are being formed, you are in the holy place. When you are being made, you are in the most holy. Amen. Okay. So, when I say all things are passed away, yeah? All things have passed away because you are not no more in the world. You are in the tabernacle. And the purpose of the tabernacle is to learn. Because you used to do some things in the world. Like Jesus said, you are not of this world. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to pray to the Father to take you out of this world, but to keep you. If you have to keep you, you have to keep you inside something. Mm -hmm. so, so how did you connect the first John 5, 7, that there are three things with the with um, um, my father in, is in heaven. How did you connect that? I'm trying to. I am in my father. Mm -hmm. huh? And my father then is in heaven. Okay. So, how do we connect what? With um, there are three things that bear witness in heaven. Yes, yeah, these are what bear witness in heaven. Huh? The Father, the Word. You didn't say the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. You say the Father, this Word, and the Spirit. The Word is also the Son. Now, the reason why I believe he put the Word is because either before he came to die or after he came to die, he is still the Word. Even the sun is still the word. What made him a son is because he became flesh. He now died. Yeah? And it was when he died that he was entombed. When he was still in the when he still be called the world, yeah. He, there was a tomb, but he, he was not seated on the tomb. The only person that can sit on the throne is a mature person. Somebody must have done something before you can give him the throne. Like we said, there yeah, are so many things in the throne. The lightning, the voices, the thunders are in the throne. So, and this thing, these three, these three things are coming out of the throne. They are coming out of, like I have, I have a seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And my seat is what makes me a king. Okay. Now in in uh, Africa settings, you know, king does sit down, begin to take degree. Okay, 
but in the own heavenly settings. Yeah? King don't just make decree. King also teaches you how to live. Like if you check uh, in the Old Testament, kings in the Old Testament, they are the one that is leading the troop. But in the African yeah, settings, the armies. yes, in the African settings, sit will, king will sit and he will be making decree. Yeah. All of you, you should go. Go if and you, face if death. You, if you, <laughs> if you, um, you read the um, life in the UK at the time, I don't know if it's still yes. there. The way they were explaining, it's like, they were actually shaping the way of life of the people. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. By give, they had a, you, a very big impact. Yeah, because when you give somebody a boundary, mm. you then show them what they have, the limits, what they can and cannot mm -hmm. do. Yeah. When I read it, that's when I, I saw. Yeah. yeah. I think I've, 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 I've studied, I've seen so many kings before Queen Elizabeth, all these kings, mm -hmm. how they led yeah. troops to win battles. Okay. That was in the past, in the olden days, that was right. Like many conquerors, they would lead by example. Mm -hmm. Okay. But nowadays, you have the general is sitting in his office <laughs> and he tells you, yep, you this guy, there. yeah, that's this one needs to go there. This is what we need to do. You see the person that they make as the uh, general president of Niger. I don't know if you follow that school now. The coup d'etat. The coup d'etat, they just happened. The right. Niger one, yes. Right. The man they make as the president, yeah, yeah, the one young guy like that. I, I saw that the, the guy was, I think he was one of the people that, one of the military guys that led. He was one of the, you know, he had a very, very strong assignment in the military. Maybe the leader of the military or something like that. Because they show a picture where they had the, all this double barrier, all everything, you know. Like, so that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Like, the, 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 the kings, they are the one who lead. You know, the Bible say the, is the is the uh, Lord of Hosts? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hosts mm -hmm. are the troop, you know. Yeah. You see, like I uh, say, uh, um, um, maybe mm -hmm. give instructions. Why, why to, yeah, give because even to here, David. like Prince Charles and all the, they've they've had to go through the army before, isn't it? It's yeah. Mand Mandel they, they, uh, they have spent some time in the army where they've been trained mm -hmm. to a certain uh, rank, degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certain rank, and then they've not gone any further. But they don't generally tend to be put on the front line. Like if there was a war today, mm -hmm. they would not be the ones that are sent there. Mm -hmm. mm. Even though they have that rank, mm. they do not necessarily will be sent there. They might be sent maybe in the background. Uh, let's say they were being deployed. Let's say tomorrow we they have to go to Afghanistan again, or you know some other place, yeah, like Ukraine for now. If they had to go there, they wouldn't send them. Mm -hmm. So they would be in the background, more in a management uh, capacity. Mm. But let's see how David became a king. <laughs> yeah, but when David David yeah. went, uh, because David's whole um, calling was because he was a very brave man. Mm -hmm. He did things by himself. He didn't wait for somebody else to do it for him. Mm -hmm. See, this is where a lot of people should take an example of somebody like David and talk the talk instead of just you know telling others to do what. Uh, Needs to be done. Talk to talk or act. Act yeah. to talk. Yeah. And walk you see, to walk. You see, when, uh, when the, when David, when the, uh, his adversary came mm -hmm. and uh, um, kidnapped the, chil the children, all his belongings, put the possession and everything, with his hands, you know. David, they all cried when they came back to their camp and discovered that the enemy has taken everything away from them. Let's check the scripture. Oh, 
For someone. For someone chatting. For someone chatting. And it came to pass from verse 1 when they read and the Simon were well, come to Zigra and they told him that the Hamilcars had invaded the south and Zigla and smiting and Zigla and smiting Zigla and burn it with fire and had taken the women captives and were dear him. They slew not any. He didn't kill them, he just took them captives, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was born, born with fire. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. That's, the, that's not just the family of David. Yeah, no, everyone. The whole, the, the, whole, the, whole, oh yeah, the whole village or whatever town. The David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahi, Om, and Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Hamanite. And David were great, greatly distressed, for the people spark of stoning, those are his military men. Mm. Because the soul of all the people was grief for every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. Mm. And David said to have you to this. Have high me yet, son. I pray thee, bring the Peter to do effort. The effort is what he used to ask from the Lord. Mm. And Abi Hatal brought the Tita to help us to David. And David inquired, that is a king. David inquired at David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, Who answered? The Lord. Mm -hmm. Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fear, recover all. So David went. He and the six hundred men that were with him. See, he led the cap, he led the hammers. Mm. Yeah. He didn't just say, Oh, boys, go there. Go there, I'm there. I'm sitting down. So <laughs> So as you're talking, I'm not just seeing physical arm, but leading into so many things. Yes, of course. Because you know, when we're talking about the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, these are spiritual hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. All those things that happen in the Old Testament, you see that somebody will pray for my mm -hmm. host. A lot of hosts always lead the truth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might, you, might, you might be the angel of maybe Michael mm -hmm. and the military of threat. The particular in your set of angels that we need to And sometimes, like the only one angel, there was a place in the Bible that one angel killed over 3,000. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm. So you, they kill according to their capacity. Mm. Imagine God sent one angel to go and give answer to Daniel, and they held him. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so, so even angels. They, are my, they have maturity levels. Even angels, yeah? yeah. They have capacity. Mm -hmm. They have ranks. Yeah. If one angel can kill 3,000 men, and one angel was head in heaven, mm -hmm. in, in the second heaven. So we're talking about angels. They are of different ranks. 
also. So, but what we are talking about is that. Uh, Question. Okay. You're right in that um, angels have different rankings. Question I had for you is if um, God had sent an angel to sort out the problems that Daniel had, why did he send a lower ranking angel and not one that would solve the problem? Well, we can't really say it was God that sent. Okay. The reason is that we have different departments in heaven. Mm -hmm. We have different heads of certain angels. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? And if it is God, yeah? Like I just posted something, I don't even know it's going to relate to what we're saying today. But we say pray until your joy is free. So if it will take you one hour, that you pray one hour, you will see answer one hour. It's okay. If it's going to take you 30 hours, you have to wait 30 hours. pray. Yeah. Don't say, oh, I've prayed and God has answered, glory be to God, and nothing happened. And you say, ah, like God doesn't answer prayer. But am I not correct in saying that uh, when Daniel kept on praying, the Lord said, why are you keep on praying? I've already answered. He said, the first day you prayed, I okay. have already sent the angel. But that's what I'm asking. But you can see, like, 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 like I'm God, I'm going to say, but Daniel kept praying. Because he had not seen the answer. Because he has not seen the answer. I think he prayed 21 days I know, I know and he started again. Where God uh, chose his goal. But that's why in, in everything there is discernment. Because you're saying so, does it mean when you pray you should just say, okay, I, I have faith, uh, it is done. Because I, okay. I've heard some ministers saying it as well, but I, I think there is discernment in everything. To know whether you should stop or you should continue. Some people, you need to some know. people you need to, they, until they see answer like this, they will not stop praying. But that's, you see, this is why I'm a bit uh, confused. That's, that's, the Bible that's says you need to discern. Yeah. It, it's to do, you cannot take one thing and say, once you pray, you have faith, you be. To, to me, every situ there's discernment in every situation. That's why we see the case of David. He never thought that with God, if God. You don't put God in, in bottom. You don't, you don't put if. That's why sometimes somebody will, like, oh. will do one program, the person will call it uh, the, the threshold, and the program was successful. So now everybody wants to do a program they called call threshold, threshold so that it will be successful. No, that person went, might have gone and inquired from the Lord. So that's what, the one example that David showed to us that with God, you are always to be dependent as a branch on a tree. Because he did one thing today doesn't mean that it will be the same thing always. Always go back and ask him. He has everything in his hand. He wants you to keep coming and ask him time and season. Is it, should I, I know last time you gave me victory. Should I still go this time? Yeah. So it, uh, to me, it's the same thing to do with prayer because it's warfare. So we need to discern, are we to, am I to continue or am I to stop? I agree with what you just said there, which is um, every new situation, every new situation dictates that you need to make a new prayer because it's a new situation. Not necessarily a new situation. If you can't rely on a prayer that you did, uh, let's say, last week for something totally different, a situation that's totally different, then you've got another situation developed today and saying, oh no, but I prayed last week. So, but each situation is uh, dependent with a new prayer, right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but when you pray, mm -hmm. it's like when Jesus said, "If you if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, yeah, that's going to be enough." No, but that's why we say that's where the discernment is again. See, Not that's... new prayers, new prayer, but discernment for every situation. situation. It is not the prayer that if. If that particular prayer, let's say you've been praying, I'm just giving an example, mm -hmm. just any example. 
you've been praying to find a particular mine of gold in an area and when you prayed because discernment is like you are trying to hear from God so this time God is telling you don't pray about it it is done another time you might pray for something and you discern that you need to still pray so you have to continue but isn't that what Daniel did yeah that's what I'm saying that each case is different so you need to discern to know what what it is for each situation mm. oh, because I'm, I'm still a bit of confused because Daniel went ahead praying for the fact that because from his from where he was standing mm -hmm. When he was looking at the situation, it was not resolved. But God had already said there, and God spoke to him and said, Hang on. See, what happened was that? Can Daniel kept praying? Daniel didn't know if God had said angels or not. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Are you getting it? Daniel was waiting for answers, mm -hmm. and he has not received an answer. Mm -hmm. And he kept right. praying. Right. Right. Matthew 11 11 to 12 says, From the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven has been sovereign violence. Say the violent people take it by force. The kingdom of heaven have been passing through violence. So from the day of John Baptist up till now, let's go there. Matthew eleven. I understand what, what I know what is. I'm not what I'm saying. What because I'm even saying, even I've heard some um, like oh when you once you pray you believe. Just I've said it before about. that uh, God doesn't like prayer of repetition. Repetition. Yeah. I've said it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you say something because that is the level. Probably you pray once at that time. That's your level. You pray once. God answers. But now they take you to the next level. Like I was saying, is it last Sunday or last two Sundays? That everything you've learned in the outer court, when you get to the only places, it's a different thing entirely. Mm -hmm. The way you used to apply things doesn't apply, doesn't work there. So let's say you pray once, and and you might not even in the out in the uh, holy place. You may even pray one hour and get answer. He said there are different situations. You know there are some things like maybe in a whole house. Yeah, let's say there's a whole house in the street in the realm of the spirit. They don't need to. Let's say God wants to say I, I want to do something. I want to do a new thing for you. A new thing maybe maybe you just want to change the. Way you want to change the new you want to change your window to a new window but if you say anything that be want to change the whole building they need to you know they need to demolish the building they need to remove the foundation remove the whole thing so don't tell me is why what our prayer that will solve the whole thing and we don't even you know he said the okay let's go to that scripture matthew 11. I want to show us something. Matthew 11, 11 to 12. 11 to 12. Verily I say unto you, uh -huh. among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Uh -huh. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater, greater than, than he. he. Uh -huh. That's true. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, mm -hmm. and violence take it by force, mm -hmm. and the violence take it by force. Mm -hmm. For all the prophets and the... And okay, the it's okay. okay. You see, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. Yeah, can you explain that? I, I was a bit... <laughs> I know I know that question will come out. That's why I want to make you go. Because they are saying something. You see, this scripture, me. I see scriptures right now, not in one side. I see it in two, three sides. Right. This scripture. Right, Baba. Yeah. This scripture. Yeah. Hmm? Is applied in prayers. We can use this scripture as an example of Daniel because he was praying. Right. Hmm? God sent answers. Yeah. But because the kingdom of darkness is here in the second heaven, mm -hmm. 
according to God, you are not supposed to be in second heaven. You're supposed to be under our feet. You're supposed to be in the hell. But because uh, second heaven belonged to Adam, the first Adam. Okay. Are you getting it? Yeah. The third heaven belonged to God. The second heaven belonged to Adam. Yeah? Yeah. And the, the, third, the first heaven is where we are. The third okay. heaven yes, yeah, okay, okay, okay. is God. Yeah. Where, I mean, the normal heaven. The second heaven normally belongs to Adam. Right. Yeah. So let's say Adam, you know, takes from the tree of life. All of us would have been in the second heaven. Who have been operating from the second heaven. But because uh, he gave the the ranks, the the you know, he gave he gave the he, um how would I put it? When he fell, he gave the the kingdom, the spear to Satan. Oh yeah. Hmm? When he hit from when he disobeyed God. Yeah, because he he basically uh, put the blame onto Eve and she gave it to him to Satan. No, 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 no. no. Uh, when he disobeyed God. Yeah. Yeah. Satan started operating from the second heaven because he gave his mandate to Satan. Uh, his mantle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. So that's me? why Satan has control. Okay. Yes. So when you see that uh, the 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 uh, the king of king, king of Persia, they held the the angels that God sends, mm -hmm. it was because they are operating in the second home. Are you getting that? They are operating in the second home. Since that time they've been. Until now they are still there. That is why even now when Jesus died. Yeah? Now, Jesus did say, okay, well, now I'm giving you your second heaven back. Yeah? We he said we are far above principal. Jesus took us far so through Jesus we are far above principality and power of darkness. See, in the heavenly places, it's, it's like far above even the heavens. Because we third have heaven? yes, because even in about the heavens, the heaven. it, apart from see, this is it's because the Bible says uh, to John, come up either, and immediately I was in the third heaven. So people believe we only have three heavens. But the Bible even says that Jesus, God says uh, the highest heaven belongs to me. So we can't say it's only three. It's only three. That's what I was going to Okay. That's one of my questions I was <laughs> But because the Bible always only mentioned three. Yeah. So let's just stay with the Bible. Mm -hmm. But I personally believe there's more than there are three. more than three heavens. Yeah, okay. Uh me too, but it was just that I was uh, uh, getting a bit... Because if there is something called the highest heaven, mm -hmm. hmm? even when Jesus, Satan was in heaven, yeah, he said he wants to take... If, he, if the heaven is not higher than where he was, how can he say he wants to take a throne above the sky? See, let's go there. You, you see that you see the remaining levels of heaven if you go there. Through what Satan says, you see that there are three higher heavens. So, that's Isaiah 14. <laughs> Sorry, I saw it. <laughs> and I'm looking for it. <laughs> Isaiah 14. Sorry, what was this one first we have here? Isaiah Matthew 14. 11, wait, uh, Matthew 11. 11, 11 to 12. Or 11 to 12. Yeah, okay. Now you think Isaiah. Okay. Nice, Isaiah. Isaiah 14. From twelve to fourteen. From twelve to fourteen. Um. I need a pen. Do you have anybody who wants to extract? Let me get you. Let's just. Just everybody should. Do you have that one? Oh, you see? That took the golden pen. That eh? gave me a blue pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. So let's check it. Isaiah 14, 14, 12 to 14. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. Well, let's start from 13. Okay, let's start from 12. Just to. 
how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art uh, thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast now, said, now, now, wait. He okay. said, weaken the nations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was before the heavens and the heart was created. So, if there were no pre Adamic race, who are in this nation? Why would God mention nations here? But don't let it go there. I'm just saying it. I know. I have another question for you, which is. We will still say it, but not very, today. Very you know, that's, that's when I say we enter into something, yeah. but we remove, we came out of it so that we don't get distracted. But let's just continue this one. Okay. Right, so then. Um, 13. 13. For thou hast said in thine heart, mm -hmm. I will ascend into heaven. It's okay. Wait. Where was he when he said he was sent to heaven? That's a question. He was in he was in the heavens. You see, verse starting, you see, how thou how art thou fallen from heaven? Not heavens. In Genesis 1 1, N high V, he said in the beginning, God created the heavens. We are in plural. Mm -hmm. In Ephesians 2 6, he said, uh, we have said we are, God has taken us. He has raised us far above in the heavenly heaven. places, in not heaven, in one place, places. But the state, he said, for how how hard thou falling from heaven? That is his present heaven. The particular heaven he was. But now from the particular heaven he was, he said. I will ascend into heaven. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can put one there. I will exalt my throne above the star of God. That is when he gets to that heaven. When he has ascended to that heaven. Right. Then he will now exalt his throne above the star. So there is something called there is there is something called the star of God that is above that first heaven when that mean. That he, has, that he said he will ascend to. So, the star of God is above the first heaven he will ascend to. Underline it. He said, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And through a uh, revelation that we're doing, seven churches, we understand stars as what? Angels. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Angels or pastors. Mm -hmm. So, the angels there, they are pastors. Pastors, they are teachers. They teach churches. So now, so he will, he will exalt his throne above the angels, call, calling the ministering spirits. The angels above the stars of God. So this is the second. This The first one is number one, right? Stars of God is second. He said, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation this one is above the star of the congregation in the side of the north we're we talking about the north the, the four cardinal points okay well let's go i will sit also upon it is here i will start when i get to the stars of god i will sit in the midst you see, upon. You see, upon here, make, making the third heaven. That is third heaven in the heavens, not the one here. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Upon the mounts of the congregation. I will ascend above the health of the cloud. This one is another heaven that is above the mount of the congregation. And I say, I will be like the most high. Can you see? These are four. Now, people used to say that there are seven heavens. I believe them. Yeah. <laughs> because you were able to figure out four heavens already. Already here. Just on the sidetrack. When Lucifer was cast out of heaven, he was bound to the earth and put for a thousand years, right? Have you heard of that? No, he said that is after. After what? 
after the saint has been taken to heaven, he will be banned for 1,000 years. And after that time, he will be released. Okay, so you mean when the Jesus comes back again? Mm. Only that time he will be bound? He will be bound for 1,000 years. Okay. So is that why people are counting and they say this is the time? Well, some of them, yeah, because there's some churches preaching that. The 4,000 years? Yeah, it's close to the time where this is supposed so to So it's happen. now? Yeah, this is what you Well, it's not far. Let's put it this way. It may not be around the corner. It may not be like one year, two years. How do we even know? How do we know how to count 4,000 years? No, because of the way. <laughs> the, yeah, they. If one, one day on, in heaven is 1,000 or not, so how do we even know? We don't know. And Those God, are the things. God, God is. It is God that is speaking here. Yeah. He's not man. So because a long how time do we know? people have been saying Jesus is coming. So. Yeah, they've been saying that for many years. So, yes. you know, most times you need to sometimes just, you know, flow with the stuff. Yeah. But by the time we are getting there, we know that this is it, not what it, it is. It is like we were saying now, in, in the end times, I mean, in Revelation, it tells you that certain things will be happening where we will be squeezed into a place where mm. things... As, and as they've been saying, it is now, it's now happening. It's is it basically now? taking mm -hmm. place in our, within our generation in this life now. So for that reason, people are saying that the time is not that far. Because the way that they're going about trying to put us in, that, in the straitjacket of making sure that if you don't uh, comply with them, for example, you know, having the, the chip of the mark of the beast, etc., that you will starve to death because you will not be able to buy food. And they're already implementing certain parts of that uh, revelation right now. It's happening. It's already the beginning. And you know when they're talking about these foods that they were talking about, I'm not sure if you remember the uh, time, one time, uh, some time ago I talked about where they're processing foods. Do you know we've been eating it for a long time and we haven't well, even long known? Yes. Yeah. But we have not been known. They, they're telling you now that all this has been licensed, etc., etc. People are making a big noise. See, but we've been eating it for me, a very long let time. Let me just let me just play these words. Mm -hmm. During coronavirus, we took vaccine mm -hmm. as a Christian. Yeah. And they say they are controlling your life. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. If you if you if you follow their flow, it's because you, your faith is not strong. Mm -hmm. Because you have the blood of Jesus. Okay. Yeah, the blood of Jesus can clean anything that is man made and that is evil made. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, uh, show fear. The people's faith are not strong and they are exercising fear. That thing will still work for them. They will still control them. That thing. Now, why am I saying this is that this food of the thing that you're talking about, we've been eating it, nothing has happened to us. Yeah. Um, probably we're eating it now. Some of it we have, but now they've taken it a step further. Because you know some of these mRNA vaccine uh, patents that they've had, they've had them for a very long time. But it's only now becoming transparent mm -hmm. that this is what this thing can do. Mm -hmm. They've already been testing it over people for that's uh, if I'm uh, uh, correct, it's 2016. So all these uh, things that now are becoming coming to the surface after the vaccine, because now people are becoming more educated about it, all of a sudden becomes more like more relevant. So people are now talking about it. Wow, this thing can do this. This thing can do that. Yeah, and because there were there were so many lies that were said for to force people to take it. That's why people are now beginning to fight back. And that's basically what part of it is. And this is why in the book of Revelation is telling you that they will come these times. Yeah. So those things, well, it happens, but anything that comes, all these things came from Satan. Yeah. They are being manufactured yeah. by Satan, you know. There's something called inspiration. If there's something called inspiration of the Almighty, then there's something called inspiration of Satan. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. Say flesh and blood yeah. does not reveal those. So if flesh and blood can reveal, yeah. yeah so anything vaccine, whatever they are doing is because of it comes from a particular inspiration of ideas. Because all these things came from idea before we can now bring it together. 
map it out, you know, get something, yeah. all the product and get the resources and put it together. Yeah. Anything that has shadow hmm? mm -hmm. means that that thing has spiritual source. And there is nothing upon this earth that doesn't have shadow. It's only spirit that doesn't, spirit that doesn't have shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm so, going to pay attention to this now. So, so why, so why, you, uh, when you said so spirit doesn't have a shadow, so is, it, shadow. so is it because it's a sign that now that you have a shadow, it's a sign that you're a spirit man. I mean, you have you have a spirit source, you have a spiritual source. Everything comes from this. Wow. From uh, from the spiritual from the spiritual. Yeah, because they are not they are not physically seen. Which is and which are human beings. You don't know that which which is a human. These are the human. Beings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want them. Some of them will take pictures with them, but they don't have to take pictures. Yeah, because they are trying to manifest that. You know, they want to show you that they are, they are not normal. <laughs> Amen. And you also mentioned something that. Um, well, have I so, answered the yeah. question? So bone of my bone. Okay. So you liken um, Genesis chapter one verse twenty two Adam and Eve. Chapter one and chapter two. With um, Jesus and the church. So you say that the mystery of husband and wife is the mystery of the church and Jesus. So the same way Jesus denied himself. The same way. Men and women have to deny themselves in marriage. So, um, so what you explain about bone of my bone? You said. <laughs> you said yeah, I remember now because I was not here last week, so I just remember because there was a question that I had you followed, asked. You yeah, followed on. That's right. Yeah. So you said Jesus got to the point that. It became bone of the bone of the father or bone of the bone of the, of us. Um, when you're talking about bones, no, no, Jesus, Jesus recognized his bones because a rib was taken out of a man mm -hmm. to make a woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when the woman was made, mm -hmm. he didn't say this is this is the rib of my rib. He said this is the bone of my bone. So, so we were taken out of the rib of Jesus. We, yes, the church, not we, the church, the church, which is us. Yes, which is us. We are all the part. We are all part of the body of Christ. Mm. Okay. So, the rib, yeah, was taken out of man. But when a woman was made. He said, "This is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my, my flesh. flesh. She shall be called woman, woman, because she came out of man. Because she came out of man. So that rib is called bones and flesh. But he, in a bigger form, uh." It means that this woman is the woman that will make me to get to my destiny. There are two sides to it. You know, I said last week something that God made a woman from man to, to not for man. Normally, it's not for man to eat from the tree of life, the tree of death. It's for man to eat from the tree of life. We said last week, I think we didn't get it at all. No, no, I, because I was driving, so... No, 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 I mean last week only. The Adam was all, only supposed to eat the tree of oh, life. Yeah. See, that tree of life is the bone. Mm. When we say bone, it means, you know, your death, your death. 
You got is it a good English? Your death. Death. Yeah. Your death. Yeah. Dying. Yeah. If you hit from that tree, this is what will make you to die. Okay. But when you die to sin, you will be alive in Christ. When we say die here, mm -hmm. I'm not mean. I don't mean physical death. But physical death will be the last thing. It's just what we've been preaching about die to self. The way you're looking at me is like. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. So Okay, so I explain the confusion so that we know where to. When we say bone, mm -hmm. bone means strong meat. Yeah. Okay, Hebrews 5. This kind of thing is what should make us know no scriptures now. <laughs> <laughs> or else. So Hebrews 5, you know? Yeah. Hebrews 5 says. From verse 12 and 13, 14. Yeah. Sure. Twelve and thirteen. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. For for when uh, for for when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, mm -hmm. ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, mm -hmm. and are become such as have need of milk, and not of a lot of strong meat. For every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong, strong meat, meat belongeth to them that are of full uh, that are of full age, even those who have who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both evil and good. Now if you hit the bone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you say this is the bone of my bones, right? Of my bones. So he has many bones. But this is one out of my many, many bones. This is a womb, this is someone that will make me to be fully matured. If you're married, which we know that all of us are married, yeah? Woman will do many things that <laughs> will make you supposed to push you to God. To them, those things they are doing is normal. It doesn't mean anything to them. Because they were not formed. Yeah, you heard it that time. Woman was created and made. No provision. Adam was created and formed. No making. Now when the Bible says, He is the bone of my bones. So a woman got matured. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And he thinks Pastor is looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's listening? In the things of the flesh. Of the flesh yeah. that will make a man to run to God. And this is an example. The church. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, let's go to. Let's leave down, maybe put something and go to Ephesians 5, where we talk about the church. Ephesians 5, this one. Yes. What's this? From 26. So, that he might sanctify and cleanse it. It means that the church has not been satisfied, sanctified. It has not been cleansed mm -hmm. or cleansed. Mm -hmm. So, if the church has not been cleansed or sanctified, then 
the boom is the boom that was made from the flesh. But that bone was made from the flesh. Like we gave an example when I was doing that to make that one. Twelve year old girl is mature than sixteen year old boy. In her age. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yes. Yeah. What, always mature what makes what makes her mature? Well, women generally tend to mature quicker than men when it comes to uh, the different aspects of life. Because a man, in, in terms of, uh, as a woman, for example, and I'll give you an example here, a physical example, which is she could have a child when she's very young. Whereas a man, he's only, he has to develop to a certain age for him to be able to yeah. be able to father it's a child. Mine. Yeah. His mind cannot handle me. So, but why? What do you mean? What makes her to be developed at that age in her mind? She cannot understand it. Yeah, but. Wait. Yeah, because that was how God made her. Made her yeah. When we say, she, you know, there are two ways of flesh. Flesh also means natural things. Doesn't mean car now, like if. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting it? Yes. Natural things. Having transaction with natural things. I mean, having interaction with natural things. It's not a bad thing. Because everybody, we must start our journey in a natural, natural way. Even the outer courts, originally, okay, you can see Jesus was the only one that started the outer court naturally pure natural formation when god created man adam mm -hmm. adam also had that experience of a natural pure natural environment that had not been polluted that's why you just you eat my flesh this flesh is not is it is a physical flesh it's, a, it's not a physical flesh it's yeah. a natural flesh that is pure it's like, uh, if you eat my flesh, you will have eternal life in you. So it is only natural flesh, yeah, that you will journey to, because you are journeying. That that natural uh, formation is also light, the light of the sun, light in the outer parts. That was why Adam can you know, interact with the animals, he can name them, because he was just doing a natural thing. And he has this spirit of discernment to a particular level that he can pick the name of animal in the heart of God. Yes, because so he, he named them all. Yeah. So he can, he, 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 he has what is called pure meek. This is what he called the pure meek of the world. It's pure. So the flesh of Jesus is what is called the pure meek. So when we say, uh, um, this is my flesh, this is the bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, yeah? Mm. Are you getting it? Relating it to church, yeah? It's like, this church, the church that came from Jesus, yeah? Not all this synagogue of Satan. The church that came from Jesus, according to the blueprint or according to design, is the pure, pure meek church. Is the pure flesh. When Jesus said, "If you don't eat my flesh," he's just saying, "He didn't say if you don't eat from my bone." He did. He have to start from the beginning. The the, the begin the entrance when you enter into Christ. That entrance. Mm -hmm. You can't enter into Christ and you just enter to the most holy place. Nobody can get there. Yeah. You can't even enter to the holy place. You have to enter to and get court, to the yeah. first room. So let's say in, the, in that house of all Christ, yeah, you are in the first room. You're in the 
yeah, like in, in, in the Christ, a whole house, there are three rooms there. So the first room is the, is the room called the room of the flesh. So when Jesus, when Adam said, this is the bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, he's talking about the, the purity part of himself. Okay. Even, let me tell you, <laughs> if, if, if the church is, is, is the mystery of a woman. Abi, is that not what you say? If this if Jesus died and say yeah, that's what you said on Sunday. Yes, if Jesus died and say uh and um and say this is the body of Christ. Yeah, and this body of Christ is called the church or the bride, then so husbands must be ready to die for their wives. Husband must be ready to die and submit under Christ. So it's not the death. It's not that die. you are dying to your wife. You are only dying to know how to handle the woman. So you are dying to your flesh, basically. When yes. they talk about because Jesus is ready to die for the church. Yes. He died for the church. Yes. So so when they say you must be ready to die for your wife, it's not like, it's not like to, to physical death. to submit to anything. No, no, it's not everything. No. So if if your wife wants a BMW, you no, have to... no. <laughs> <laughs> but I like how you, a, I like the BM, question. A BMW, no. like, no. you have to no so do everything no. to get the BMW. Is the is the bone <laughs> of my bone. Is the bone of Jesus. I know. But it, that is not a joke. It's no, a no. very good question. But some women do that. That's what it's they a do. very, very they good they question. Manipulate the manipulate yes. The yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's the flesh that is getting to the bone. So the woman too, the woman too must submit to the man. It's a man, love your wife. And woman submit to your husband. It, it, the, the thing, if a man is, if a man is submitting, is that is for a man that is submitting to Christ? Too. Yeah. I will say this, but if you are watching and you quote me and you say, "Oh, Pastor, you just say this." Let me tell you. <laughs> it's very difficult to say. No, yeah. say it. Say it. Mm. Now that you have started. So, so when, when is, because what you're saying, when is not submitting to Christ, you saw not But that is what the Bible says. Yeah, but in a way, because you've had examples. Let me tell you, if you are not. Let me, let, let me give you, let, let me, me give, give you. Let me say, let me say sure. this thing. If, you, if there is, there is no way, according to the desire of a woman, yeah, of a woman, like I put something on yesterday. See, your culture, your, this is our culture, this is how we do in our country, this is do in our town. It doesn't have anything to do with the design of a man or a woman. Because God doesn't consider your culture and your whatever when he was making yeah, a man. Yeah, but it is a woman. also telling us so that we I'm just win saying, a man by our attitude. I if know. he's not saved, you see? Yeah, if you're not saved, you are not going to. If you're not saved, I promise you, you'll be controlling your woman. That is how it is. What do you mean, controlling? Uh, you know how to make sure somebody respects you by force. People who are not saved, they are the ones that say, oh, in our culture, a woman must kneel down to greet a man. A woman must, you are, I'm the man, I've paid your dowry. You are, must do what I want by force. If the, either the woman wants it, either the woman love it, he doesn't, he don't care. So it's, it's only a man that is not saved that says those things. When we say saved, I'm not saying you just receive Jesus. So, because salvation, is exactly so the bones mm. is not so it's not just salvation doesn't end in, in the flesh even salvation self is the meat of the world is what will even save you mm. I, was, I was looking for a post you put up the other day about this i i had it and then for some reason it just disappeared so did i see just say so uh, that, that something. Yeah. I saw that what? That 
And I'm just I'm just trying to look for it but for some reason it's disappeared off my feed. Don't say so that I can't look for it. Um you're talking about submission. Yeah. You cannot force your wife to submit to your leadership as her husband, but if you deny yourself unto death, just as Christ did for the church, she won't just obey to you, but love you wholeheartedly. Yes. Woman means your bone and your flesh, which mean the strong meat and the milk of the word, respectively. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's the same thing you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Can you elaborate? Because, right, like you said, you cannot force your, your wife to submit to your leadership. Okay, but see, in Africa, you will see many women, they are just, you say, I'm married because of my children. I'm just, I'm just enduring it because of my children. She's mm -hmm. not happy here. Yeah. Yeah? But the way the man is treated, treating her. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? I'm the king. I'm the man in, the, I'm the man in charge. Yeah. You do whatever I let me tell you all those things as children, when parents used to tell us that you do whatever most of those things doesn't really go in line with us children. Because the only standard of the parent to children is train your child in the way of the Lord. If it's not the way of the Lord, mm -hmm. yeah. Some children will be doing something secretly in the morning. You will force them, or they will not open up to you. But I think that is, uh, like you said, even if you have brought your child up, and I'm not saying this happens quite a lot, but it does happen, where you could have brought your child up within the framework of a Christian household. Yeah, it does happen. And yet that child because of outside influences, could still go astray. Yeah, it does happen. Never found, and it happens never see, a lot. See, yes. let, me, let me explain this. When we're talking about the way of the Lord, mm -hmm. those parents, they train in their home way that they think this is a Christian background. But let me tell you, no person's heart belongs to anybody. So. No person, no nobody's heart belong to no child's or children's heart belong to any parents. Now, when we say train, they are children of God. Yeah, when we say train, yeah, you cannot just train like oh, discipline a child and you think it also involves serious prayers. Because when we say about the way of the Lord, yeah, Jesus walked the way through prayers and fastings. And so many things. So we know how to command the child, we know how to train the child, don't do this, don't do that. But we don't, do we commit, do we, have we ever spent time and pray that God should change them? We are only looking for ways to protect them, to, we are only doing this thing. And so many parents are so fat, like the, the child or the children don't even appreciate what they are doing. Mm -hmm. But you have to know that this child is not mine. I'm just a manager to this child. This child belongs to God. Yeah. So, but in the place of prayer, you hardly see parents. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. See, you hardly see parents that commit the heart of the children to God. They are even teaching this children. See, all of us in our home family, we are four. And we are all the children of the pastor. Well, I promise you, most bad people upon the earth, they are the children of pastors. But four of us, we don't go away what? At that time, I used to worry that why? But our parents are praying. Are you getting it? So let's forget about just children of real pastors. pastors yeah. What about normal Christians? Normal Christian, yeah. train your child in the way the way to the time of jesus jesus don't play with prayers and fasting even all his children all the disciples that god committed in his hand he said he said he said peter i have seen that satan 
He wants to sift you away like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. So most times we only try to discipline. How will you discipline someone that the kingdom of darkness is ruling his or her mind? Which kind of physical discipline that will turn that kind of heart to your way? Exactly. If it is, so you can do the physical one. If you are not doing the spiritual one, forget that, 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 that discipline, it will not work. You know, like now, we have Christian, <laughs> Christian families where, like you said, the, the parents pray for their children. Oh, you know, I pray for this child. How do they, how do they pray? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not there physically, but I know, or well, they say that they, they claim to be praying for their children. Of course, well, because, because different people, you know, uh, expression of prayer is sometimes personal in a way that you can't just say, okay, there's a fixed way to pray. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can't put it in a box and say, okay, this is the way you must pray. Otherwise, everybody will be doing the same thing. But there isn't that. So each one pray like the way you might pray may be very different from what I would pray. Okay. Me being a babe, I would like you know probably um, uh, pray in a much more uh, you know reading the scripture or you know trying to be more within my flesh trying to the way I pray whereas you pray in a totally different way because you're more you know you're eating more more meat as opposed to me just drinking the milk as a consequence you know the same way a parent might pray for their child because they can see their child may be going a different direction so they pray to God God please you know try and bring my child back please don't make her do this please or make him do that or Whatever the case may be, but that child still does what he wants to do. That's what I'm saying. See, when we're talking so, about prayer, Bible says the kingdom of God is not here and here is within you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if the kingdom of God is within us, mm -hmm. so if we are not a believer, or even if you're a believer, no, you are just a general yeah. Christian. We're talking about believers. No, no yeah. yeah, I understand. You know, but there's something called general Christian. They pray like we pray in the morning. The people, some parents they only pray, or some family they only pray morning devotion and life devotion. After that, there is nothing prayer again. Right. Oh Lord, we will worship you tonight and today. We thank you for everything. The, pray, the whole prayer is maybe 30 minutes with the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But see, the kingdom of darkness is also in us. What is the kingdom of darkness? If you map it out, it's what is called principality power, spiritual wickedness. Yeah. Now, you just want to say, oh, my child. And what is working in the mind of that? What is child transacting the business they are transacting in the mind of that Christ? Yeah, they are powers, principalities that doesn't have an end. That is that is turning this heart of these children. And you think one oh, father who oh, does do this one prayer that is not up to thirty minutes will change the formation of what Satan has planned in the heart of the person? It doesn't work like that. Oh, oh, God, Father, this, 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 this. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to be a thorough prayers. And what is a thorough prayer? Yeah, you have to pray. You have to no, pray. But what is a thorough prayer? I mean, you have to pray. You have to pray in tongues. You have to pray for like maybe six hours, seven hours. And at the same time, you also have to be in Christ. And you have to let your life, yeah, be an example that people are watching. Because let me tell you, you cannot even lead a church. If you cannot lead your family successful, you cannot do what? You cannot lead it. You cannot lead the church. Yeah, if you cannot lead, okay. Even that is one of the criteria to to choose elders in the Bible. Yes, you say you have to be a man of one wife. You have to be yes. Those are the criteria to to. Yes. Wait. I will let me explain this to you now. Okay, that's what you say. Well, I'm not disputing that. Okay. In my honest opinion mm -hmm. what you're saying is like bullseye. that is what the bible says it's no, 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 yeah. it. okay well no what you've said i mean right now is exactly what i believe it should be mm -hmm. but is that what's happening in the body of christ today yeah because uh, uh, every no see the body of christ was not like this from the beginning right yeah but hold on when you said about the, the churches in the beginning mm -hmm. because we've been talking about the seven churches and this kind of uh, shenanigans were happening then too yeah, but see, see what happened yeah, in the time of it now it's worse, what happened in the time of yeah. the Bible. You, do you know how many years That's of things that they composed together? Yeah, 
The time that Jesus died to the time that John saw Revelation, do you know how many years it was? Because it was composed in the Bible, we think everything is just one year. Even Jesus no, himself spent three years upon the earth. Yeah, that's, that's exactly my point though, is that even a so-called, when I say so-called man of God, who, as you, if I looked at them and said, wow, this man, person is like, you know, a really strong person in Christ. But their example that they are setting, whether it is what you know, what is, you know, happening behind the scenes, is not exactly of God. Mm. It's not of there, God. Yeah, people, people need to understand and that. That is also between, for... between the, the husband and the wife too sometimes. Yeah, where yeah, but he's husband, saying what what so this is what is supposed to, to be. be. This is what yeah. is to become. So there are so many things that are not the way they are supposed to be. So, if you want to because bring them out, the, the, yeah. Another aspect is that people believe that I have, oh, I have Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit speak with me. Then if people have Holy Spirit, they will go to hell. <laughs> the Bible says, "Not everybody that comes to the Lord will enter my kingdom." Yeah, you see, I know we don't want to use the word hell, but let's just use it. You say, Oh, we prophesy your name, we got miracles. He said, Go behind yeah. me, evil. Why did you call somebody who have Holy Spirit evil doers? How can you have Holy Spirit and you are evil doers? It means that if you have Holy Spirit, but you are still doing your own thing, you are still doing your own desire, you are not doing the desire of God. Because evil doer is someone who is doing things of this world, that is not doing things. According to the pattern of Christ, mm -hmm. that is what I'm trying to say. So the mind is not yet saved, the soul is not yet saved, mm -hmm. the heart self is the, the law of the Lord has not fully written in that height, but it has only spirit. It is a tongue tonga, tongue cabo, I would be talker, tongue talker. They speak in tongues, doesn't mean anything. Means nothing. Spirit in tongues is just a sign that you have Holy Spirit in you. So explain. Sorry, because when you speak in tongues, it's an expression of. When you speak in tongues, your spirit prays. Yeah. Yeah. It's an expression of your spirit. So Holy what is praying? Holy Spirit is praying you. Yeah. Yeah. And so. So you are speaking in tongues. Holy Spirit is praying to the Father that let your will, God, let your will be done. You are just speaking in tongues. Holy Spirit. What you are speaking, we don't understand. Holy Spirit is just telling the Father that, oh, Jude is going out today. Oh, let's let's do do your will today. But mm -hmm. you know, you get out, but you didn't. You, you maybe do have that. you do have will. You don't do have will. <laughs> God, I'm sick. We need to have a, a, a very lengthy discussion because I'm sure I'm not the only one. No, I'm not. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry yeah, that I called Jude. Right? Yeah. Sorry. No, no, not, no, no. It's okay. I'm not saying. I'm talking from the fact that you yeah, know, I the, might not the, be the only one who really of course you're not the only one. Grasp, you know, know, that is why we that is why we grow. That yeah. is why we grow. Yes, yeah? right, yeah. Me self, I've not got into particular. I've not fully given myself because it's very hard. God will not do it. It's a process. He does it bit by bit. He does. He say He will not make us to pass through what we cannot bear. Yeah. And He will not. He said there is nothing that will come to us. He knows that we we have we can handle it. Mm. Yeah. So if you not if you not kill some flesh, yeah, we cannot. God will not bring some temp, some test to us, for us to pass. It is we have submit submitted ourselves, part portion of ourselves, you know, under the leadership of God, mm -hmm. that will now bring to a test to us. And if you bring the test, it's a test of the same thing you have submitted. It will bring you want to know that will you be bought away by the same thing you have submitted to God. Okay, you submitted, you submitted not to be lying. Yeah? So, okay, oh, Lord, oh, we can see that you've dealt with spirit of lie or flesh of lie in me. So I cannot lie again. You know, so, okay, you cannot lie. We can see that you cannot lie again. So they will now bring the test of lie to you. Just to see that if you still truly, uh -huh. you cannot lie. That's why the Bible says this, uh, the priest of this world came to me and found nothing. Yeah? Because Jesus himself. To be honest with you, then people used to say that oh, Jesus is the Son of God, you know, is a different species, he cannot do this. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you something. It, it's the Word of God, means that everything, every, every the life of God, all the 
life that God Himself personally, God, I mean God, yeah, when has God worked is it's, as a human. Yeah, all of all those things were composed or piled up somewhere. Hmm. If you know how I meditated, if you see how I write things down, hmm. let's say this water. Is, give me another. Is there any empty bot bottle? No empty bottle. You have hope. I got a cup. Yeah, yeah. Give me. Okay. So, this is a. Uh, So let's say uh, uh, we're looking for. I think I put a post. Let me see if I can use the post to. Yeah. If you can't practice the word of God, you reach or preach. You can't pick the light of the word. Practicing the word is what is called life. Yeah. Now we have life. Download. Yeah. We have the life of God in us. As damaged, yes, but just by that you have the light, life as download doesn't mean that you have the life. That's mean we are using it, you know. Yes, no, doesn't mean you still have it. It is when you start using it, yeah. It's like we say, um, if you do solar, yeah, solar is a direct sunlight, direct light, yeah. there's something that converts it to AC, mm -hmm. yeah. The transformer, yeah. yeah. Transformer converts DC to AC, right? So let's say uh, the, the DC is the raw one, is the downloaded one, yeah. It is because something converted it to AC, yeah. So it's no more the sunlight, it's now electricity because something converted it. So if you don't convert, see, practicing means you convert the raw light yeah so usable light so when you now converted it your dealings the purpose for your dealings is to convert even the bible use the word convert so you can be there preaching big big you big, can be big, there big, you big, have big, the life but you don't understand preach, the big, life big big and until you've actually practiced it is practicing yeah practicing i'm not saying preaching it is practicing that makes you to submit your life. When you read the Bible says, if you don't lose your life, what is making you to lose your life is that you are practicing the new life, the new word of God. You install software on your phone or your on your computer, but you don't you don't run it, you don't install it. You install it yet, yet but you don't, but you don't, you don't run it. You don't activate it. Yes. No, then you don't use activate. Do you have you have you, you installed it. have you in, install install like this? there are some programs for example even on my phone. No, no, don't let us use phone. No, 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 I'm just giving an example, yeah. right? So we have an app on a phone. Yeah. Okay. But until that app is activated, for me to start using it, it's just a like you said, a download. It's just Okay, let's say that let's if you have to use for let's say you have all you have something called Google Play. Or Apple Store. Yeah. You have billions of millions. Only God knows how many Correct. applications are. That's right. Yeah, on your phone, you carry them everywhere. Correct. But you cannot use them until you download them. That's right. But on the system, on the computer, you buy a software. It's a software. But you cannot you cannot put your uh, hands on just disk and be operating it. You have to install it. Mm -hmm. After installing it, you will now begin to, you need to run it. Okay, the run before. Yes, you have to run it before. Okay. Are you getting it? You download it is already in the system, but you cannot use it. You need to run it. When you when you run it, that is when you now you now see something is installed. It's fully functional straight away. So the process of running is what is called converting or dealings. So you have a raw life, yeah. It is why you are practicing it. Practicing converts raw light to usable light. 
Yeah. Now, because you've now used it, you've used it many times, that thing now become life alive in you. That was why the word of God, yeah, the word of God, let's say the word of God in heaven was wrong. To the father, it wasn't wrong. Yeah, but the word of God himself, yeah, <laughs> the word of God himself, yeah, he can only do what the father. Isaiah 55 says, uh, from 8, 8 to 11, he says, um, Isaiah 55, 8 to 11. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Something that something there, there must be something that converted thoughts to world. True. To the world. Okay. Yeah. Now, like we're saying that uh, in the heaven, the world is in the Father. Yeah. In the heavens, the world is in the Father. In the Father, the world himself is the world. But when God wants to use the word in him, he uses it as a thought. Within the Father, that word is a thought in the Father. Yeah? But when he speaks it, it becomes the word. Well, if you do, that's why I say, for my thoughts are not, are not your thoughts. He didn't say, for my word are not your word. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Right now, within you now, you have the word of God. Yeah? But... When you want to meditate with the word, when you are meditating with the word, yeah, is 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 converting to thoughts, and it can be running within you as thoughts like that, within you. But when you begin to speak it, it's no more the word, it's not more the thought, it's now the word. But when you are listening to it, you are what I'm saying right now. I'm saying the word, but you are not receiving it as the word. You are receiving it as the thoughts, and you are not only receiving it from your ears. Your eyes is also receiving it. Your eyes is seeing the image of what I'm saying. For you to even understand, you begin to bring it as pictures. You begin to relate with it. Another word for meditation is to think it, to. To room to to relate with it, so you are hearing it. You are also your eyes is picking is 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 bringing it out as pictures. That's why till today, God will show you some revelation. Yeah, He will speak it from the heaven, but He will come to you as revelation, as a dream, as a dream, or as vision. There's something yeah, called yeah, closed vision. Okay. There's something called open vision. There is something called trance. There is something called revelation. Yeah. How are you getting it? Mm -hmm. So, so in the heaven, in the Father. See, if I close it now, is the whole word of God. Hmm? But when you begin to relate with it, and begin to ex you see that one, that one word. You begin to expand it, you discover that when you expand it, it's big, it's more than this bottle thing. It will be so much because you related with it. Many things have come out of it. You now become so much alive. You you'll be so much alive within you. As in sometimes you meditate to level like you begin to speak in tongues. Have you experienced it? Oh, sometimes as if you travel. Yes, you will sit down like this. Those people are using a kanka. Have you have you seen the kanka before? The kanka. Okay. Kanka? Ah, the kanka. We have a kanka religion. It's like what they call yoga now. Mm -hmm. You will sit down. They will meditate. What and they okay are, and they try and they try and they try. Oh, okay. Yes, they call them a kanka, a kanka or something like that. Incantation. No, it's not incantation. A kanka. That's the name. Is that Nigerian word or? No, they brought it to Nigeria, so I can't really say where they came from. It's a religion. 
I've, I've, when I've meditated it before, I've been, that has, yeah, I've been taken. So it's more like yoga, that they say, oh, they sit down and, but before you can even travel like that, yeah, in your mind, sitting down, you must have a thought or a word. That is what makes you to travel. Mm -hmm. For you to know how powerful it makes you travel like, for you to know how powerful the world is. Mm. It was the world that created all things, including man. So normally man is supposed to stay in the realm of the spirit forever. Honestly, if we are able, is because if we if we can the first time man came out the of the realm of the spirit help us to do that. The first man make man came out of the realm of the spirit was when he sinned. So man was in the spiritual realm of the head. Okay. In this head is both spiritual and physical. Mm -hmm. So Adam and Eve they were in the spiritual part of the head. But when they sin, their eyes were open. They were their eyes were open to spiritual aspect of the head. To the physical, sorry, to the physical, physical. part yeah. of the head yeah. for the first time. So all this why, yeah, they are being in the garden of Eden. They have, they are being upon the head in the spiritual part of the head because this head we are seeing is both spiritual and physical. Angels are here right now, but we can't yeah. see them. We can't see them because it was brought from the heavens. Heaven is fully spiritual. Also, heaven has its own eating parts called invisible. That's why I say unseen. There is something, Bible never says something called unseen realm, but there is something called unseen realm even in the heavens. Hmm? Yes. How come? Or invisible realm. Yeah, how come? Because. God created the heavens first. He created the heaven from where he was, from his seat. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says the Son is the image of the invisible God. So heaven came from the invisible God. God. Head came from the heavens. If you come from something, yeah, the source that you came from was linked to that thing that was that is being created. Like you see that this this one has a shadow. It's a sign that this physical device, yeah, has its traces from the spiritual. Because it's got a shadow. Yes. You can see that nothing, Satan has never made anything. So the only thing is that they have to just, because man left, he said, he immediately, he heard, yeah, their eyes were open. And they became afraid. And they started hiding. Is because they have been, you know, they have been opened up to the physical head, physical hearts. Okay. Is that what? why, for example, uh, animals can see spirits? Mm -hmm. what? No. What? What? No, what? Animals can see spirits. Animals. Animals. Like dogs. Like dogs or yeah. The what? They can see spirits. Yes. But we 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 can to some extent. Can we? Yes. Yes. You must learn to do it. Well, when, when you, there, there was, a, the other day I was telling my husband, I was driving and I saw my, my, my sister, the Lord has even revealed that to me, some things that she can see. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. You, you... Okay. The, for, the first thing I wanted to say, so the other say day I was, own... I was driving hmm. and it's like I saw 
an animal and the animal was like jumping jumping so when i get closer it wasn't an animal that i saw so the man that was riding the bicycle was that so i was even troubled because i know i when i'm sleeping you know i but this was life like, like that so i was troubled i was thinking so uh i discussed with my husband i discussed with uh, some other men of god and, and they were saying no it is like a different level that there are some other things that yeah, but i sure. know some, <laughs> some, yeah, some there are some that, people are close to me they are not christian they can see things but even those yes. who are christian they, 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 they yeah. before i was i got born it's not only the before Christians. i got born again yes. i was I used to have a lot of dreams and things. If something is to happen, I see it before I go born again. Is it? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've seen things which, like I said, I just right now blow my mind. But yeah. If something is to happen, Normally, I see it. are supposed to be in the spiritual part of the head forever. You see these days people say I don't believe in God, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in God. That's why Satan is dealing with them. Yeah. Normally, where God created man was in the spiritual part of the head. So that he can it's, it's very quick to relate to heaven. I've got somebody very close quick. to me, my sister. She there are a lot of things that she she can but, say. You know, through the falling man, Satan has they made men you see everything around us. So we can relate with, we have many things around or we can relate with physically. We don't really need to be conscious or think like we are supposed, we supposed to, that there is a spiritual part of this head that is very real. That's why our faith is, is, is It's low. not always look useful, those things, sometimes. <laughs> our faith is very, our faith are very low. We hardly believe in God. That's why most times, but yeah. even here, I'm sorry to say, but here the faith of maybe somebody might might say I'm wrong. I believe the faith of the people here is very low compared to the faith of faith of the people like in Africa, for yes. example. Because them sometimes when they need they, they have to go to the hospital, they don't have the money. So the first thing they think about it's is God. God. Yes, that's right. But we we have everything straight. Oh no, it, 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 when you, you say, but then they, they really believe and they stand on the word because uh, where am I going to get that money? They say an operation, you need to pay 1,000. 1,000 1, pounds and they have to convert it there. Where are they going to get the money? Yeah. So they will stand on that word. So pray for it. Yeah. So I've, I've always thought that because here we just, everything is, it's, it's the way it's supposed to be. It's the way... <laughs> I know sometimes even my husband used to um, used to say, "Oh, the way you see things, you know, because of how things are here." You like know? me now, it's me. It's not really about. It's sometimes I, I won't say it's the about, system. I won't say it's about levels. Is is if she can see things before she became born again. I think it, I think it's about. Sometimes it's not about levels. It's not about sometimes, levels sometimes. Because if I see like my family. Most of us have got that. Wow. Yes. So, so it's only it's, about levels. Sometimes it's about because me when I when I because when I got born again, I was some things that the Lord was using me to do, it was more of a gift. It was not because I've gotten to some level. There are some things that some gift that I have, sometimes pastor will say, Oh, but the word if the word he have he has more of the words that mm -hmm. I do, but those things they are gifts. I didn't. Yeah, yeah they are gifts. See, one thing I want to also is that it's very simple, easy for women to quickly see things. Than that's men. true. Yeah. That's true. And that's the reason why Satan came through. It's very hard for Satan to come through Adam. And why because is that? The heart of Adam is very hard. No, no, but why is that? The heart of man is very hard. We yield quickly. You know, God even called women wicked vessels. We, we yield quickly. Men, they want to 
Your hearts, they we is very we we close our gates, and we we can lock our gate. We can lock our mind. But women, that's why you see lot flower, of women in church. Sweet <laughs> words. You see more women in sweet words. They started dancing. They want to. You know, they could it's in Nigeria that I was very surprised. You have a lot of men going to church there. Yeah. Because the master will love to pray for them. Because they want to. Because the wives are very demanding, so they need to make sure that they pray. No, see, you, there are so many. How would I put it? See, even, the spiritual wickedness in this country. Yeah. In this country, they, they or build in, 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 in the UK. They build the systems. They build the system. They to build the system you. to affect you. And we are all running after them. there are so many laws in this country that you cannot change. So they build things. They are the spiritual wickedness. They are not they don't, they don't come after you to kill you. To they don't even want to kill you here. It's a Unless it's a, it's a mass. If there's a mass like a coronavirus, mass things that can kill people like that or like flee or something. But it, that one said we killed everybody in every nation of the world. Are you getting? It? But they, they build systems, they know that they only look for things that they can use to manipulate and to put on, under oppression. But here we will not see that it's, we are under oppression. No, see, there's the fear. That's what they've done. They're using now fear to manipulate you. Like, like let me give you an example. How do they put cameras wherever we are going now? How did they start? I believe that uh, they started because uh, maybe there's an accident and somebody wants to claim a right. No. Really? Okay. They started with cameras, you know, the ones that you watch you. I'm not talking about like the traffic cameras. And, no. These are the ones I'm talking about. Like you walk down the high street, you see a camera watching okay, you. Okay, yeah. Okay. First of all, they put fear in you. They started, you know, the bombings. Or Muslim say, ah, oh, this Muslim man has done this. Ah, oh, we need to know we, there might be a bomber that does this. That's what I'm saying. It's okay, just so for investigative no, reasons. No, yeah. So they started with that. Okay. So then you, as a citizen, you want to feel safe. So you say, ah, it's okay. You just put that because we don't want to be bombed. At least you can find out where this guy is going. Okay. How did they do that? Yet, for example, let me give you a typical thing here, which is all. I tell you what. If you can give me an answer to this, I think you will be you know, enlightened. Okay. During coronavirus, mm. yeah. How many bombings did you see by the Muslim? <laughs> they were so scared of dying of COVID. No, no, <laughs> they were so anybody. scared of dying of COVID. They still stayed at home. They all stayed at home because they were scared of dying. Yet we are being told that these people, they don't care about dying. They will just go and bomb themselves. <laughs> Hey, right? don't you ever think that that is funny? Very, very. Exactly. So, don't you see that that's how they manipulated it? There are certain factors where there are certain elements which trigger certain people who are easily manipulated to make them think that this is what needs to be done. Ah, you need to do that. And by doing that, it is actually engineered. Yeah, it is a gene, it is planned. It's so like, it's it's like a war, it's warfare. Sit and use it's a warfare. science and technology. That's right, it's warfare. So you build his own. So that's how they instill fear in people. Okay? So by doing that, it was actually not done by. The... I, I will tell you that the way witchcraft work here, it doesn't work there. It's the same witchcraft. Yeah. But they know how to work in different nations. Correct. And how to manipulate the fears. Yes. Because remember, it's all based on fear. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how they in do. this country there's so much of canal things. Yes, that's right. So they wrote, they put different different systems. System it's a different principality. Yes. Yes. The yes. same principality, but they work I mean, in yeah, different power, ways. Yeah, different ways, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how they do it. Then that's anything that will make us to think fast yeah. and to try to avoid like look at this COVID now. They put the fear of God in you about COVID. Even my own family were forcing me to have the vaccine. And I said, no. They were forcing me. All of them had had it. Yeah. They were forcing me, no? Yeah. yeah. Yet, now we are finding out that the people who had it actually are more likely to suffer from it. Because they said, you will not get COVID if you have it. You will not get this, you know. Hello? 
all these other variants are Other ones that they are the ones who got them first. <laughs> yes. That's it. Huh? Yeah. So it is like you say, how these people have engineered it's like an attack. You know when you're in the uh, when you're on the battlefield, you say, Okay, the plan of attack now you see the army is all there, we are going to go round, we're going to go round that way, we'll come round from the back. Mm -hmm. And this is how they're going to but we need to distract them. So what they will do is they will send a small band of soldiers do here. You know how evil spirit they plan. Yes. And hey. they're so good at it. Yes. So they know what work for different Certain countries. Correct. And know what works for different people too. Yes. For greed. Yes. They will go to some Why do we have lots of cultures? <coughs> yes. This culture will say this is what we do. Yeah. Another culture. Who who do you think it is territorial powers that okay. so you want them territorial power doesn't work in this country? Of course it does. Of course it does. <laughs> yeah. But it's just the way that they're working, like you said, the workings are different yes. here than they would be in Africa. Anything that will see Satan studies even woman, even you just become born again, Satan will be studying you. See, yeah. be wise like serpents. Yeah. Uh, serpents. <coughs> and they allocated somebody for you. Hmm. Uh. Amen. So Amen. In, in Africa, they will work as a weak traps, you know, you know that the people pray about their glory, glory, and, you know, uh, God killed my enemy. Yeah, who, who cares? They don't even come to church not to talk of uh, killing their enemy. Which enemy? Nobody wants, even nobody wants anybody to die. You yeah. want to see their love ones, love, and you can see all those uh, witchcraft. Yes, uh, they don't. Some people say in Africa they say, ah, you see, the Yoruba people, the white people, they put their, they, they use their marine spirit to do beautiful things. Like how how can you phone? How can you call from UK to Nigeria and instantly, you know, the chiefs they think like it's. There is the witchcraft guy, you know, yeah, so making using work. it. Yeah. Like uh, you see some, they see there are some so many cars that uh, in the kingdom of in, in the marine water, they are using those cars. That you see some cars that look like bulldog. Use some cars that look like fish, yeah. and you see kind of cars that are even making these days. Yeah. Sometimes you watch, 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 like and we've birds. not even seen anything. Yeah. We've not seen anything. You know, we are doing driverless. This thing, you know, they, are, they are working on it. Yeah, of course. They are working on it. All those things will come out. You know, uh, the other day, uh, before you... I, I, you said, shared, I said something to you yesterday. No, no, yeah, before you shared that. There's already one before. Yeah, that yeah. Amazon did. No, the, the pizza guy. You know, like Uber. Yeah. With the jetpack. He's got a jetpack. Yeah. He takes your... Uh, he goes to Pizza Hut. I think it was Pizza Hut. Or Domino's Pizza. Or Domino's Pizza. Okay. He takes the, your... He took your pizza. But carried it like that and started his thing. Vroom, and he flew, and flew. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to see that. Flew, went, took it to his house, to that house for delivery. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This thing yeah. is a. Uh, it I, was in. I some, I, I'm not sure if it's in Oxford or something. Seriously? Yes. Amen. Okay, let's. Uh, so, so that's how <laughs> principality and powers are split up. This is how uh, it's working. Yeah. They put laws. They yeah. put systems like um um vice um, rulers rulers they deal with laws mm -hmm. and they put all kind of laws they're implementing laws but they are not just doing laws in the realm of the spirit they are bringing it out yeah physical implementing it in yeah but this is what they're doing now they're talking about it so much yeah, yeah. Yes. they're talking about it so much yes they're already telling you be prepared for the next one. And, they are, they, and the principal, the, the kingdom of darkness, they are studying the kingdom of light, how it works. Yeah. See what is happening now, the WHO, yeah, they will be given powers because all countries have apparently signed that oh. if you don't have a passport, a vaccine passport, or something that shows that you've taken this vaccine, you can't travel. Yeah. And they're going to enforce it. Yes, yeah. Principality. Yeah, it's, that is happening now. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, we could go. We could go a different tangent with this. <laughs> we'll go to Ireland. Uh, yeah. in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll never finish. Even well, if you point, take it, the, the point, point is this. Yeah. Yeah. The point is this. This is. This is. I promise you. If the church can rise, and if people it. can stand up and start praying, I promise you, this thing will not be successful. I promise you.
some people God will God will write God will raise some people that will go against. Is it is everything that they want to so so many so many laws that they want to bring to the parliament that some people will rise up and say no we don't want it yeah. and they will vote against it and they say they don't want it. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. This ulex of a thing. Mm -hmm. There was a time even in the parliament under Boris Johnson that they yeah. tried it and it didn't. It didn't take no, it. it was supposed to be happening, but later. Yes. Yes, that's yes. right. But, but this thing is all happening under Labour. Yes. I promise you till now, yeah. it's not. It's, it's not part of the program of the Conservative. Party. No, it's not. Yes, it's Labour. Yeah. You see, so there, yeah, there, yeah, God will always raise some people to fight against some things. But we are, how many people pray? How right. many people pray? Because you see, this is the thing. People don't associate that with prayer. Yes, I know. That's the problem. I know. Because this is what I was trying to explain earlier, which is, you know, it is fine for us to be talking about how we should be praying, mm -hmm. but it is not something that should be taught in churches, where, uh, like you as a pastor, would say, okay, you have this problem, I will give you these prayers, you need to go and pray, blah, 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 and, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that. A lot of them, they don't have that education. Yeah, because the, the, there are so many dead churches, there are so many ministers. Let me, have, let, something happens to me, please, of all, saying, I think all of you know about it. Yeah. yeah. This thing, when it happens, I have options to use. I can go and report at the head office, I can they even give me tribunal. I can use that. I can so many options, but I didn't use it. I went to court today. The page. <coughs> no, they they wrote oh, me a letter yeah. and apologize. And this person didn't want to apologize initially. And because of me, all of the people working for that guy, they made a meeting today saying you don't like what this guy did to Israel. And because of that, all of them are leaving the guy as I speak. Yeah. So you see, we the Bible says, if you know your God, you will be strong. And do exploits. Yeah, you will be strong. Because if you know that it's spiritual that control physical, you will pray and send, he send, he send the host of heaven to the person. Mm. The person will be sleeping, I'll be waking, and will everywhere. They will be threatening him around. I think you don't have angels that are threatening. It's angels of God that are threatening. Nobody will tell anyone before you say, ah! But are they paying you? Yeah, of course, they will pay you. <laughs> because you, you, you know, don't so make sure that they, if everybody's leaving him, make sure that he doesn't go no, into doesn't liquidation. No, he doesn't concern, he doesn't have anything to do with me. No, but he make sure he doesn't go into liquidation before he pays you. No, uh, even if you go to liquidation, they will for me. No. They will only give you a portion. They will, I promise you. Don't say no. Okay. I'm <laughs> willing. Say Don't say no. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah. yeah. I told. I don't know to people will be willing to be willing. No, 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 no. I'm, even this one, I kept it. I'm not going to say it anymore. It is when it is being paid, I will say, I told you that this guy will pay. So, if you know your God, it's because we, we in this country, you have so many options. You have the law, you have anybody. Yeah, no, but that, that, so. that's the example yeah, I was saying that yeah, our faith many, here is low, so low compared to back home. Yes. Because we don't need see, we believe because we, we don't already need God. have the choice. Yeah, we we have, don't yes. need God. You see, it is like this. If anything right. happens, you have your money, you go on holiday. Can I pray for you? You say no. Yeah. I've already I've already gone to the hospital. Yeah, that's right. Imagine. No, but you see it's like this, right? Why do you think God as you, we have talked about this earlier today. Why is it God goes for people who have little hope, little strength? Little strength. Why? Because they rely on Him Be more. Correct. Because at that point, yeah, you know there is no other help for you mm -hmm. around you. So the only one that you can turn to is Him. And it, I saw one person. I say, "Can I pray for you?" Say, "No, I, I will be dying in three days." I say, what? When I was in, the I saw a lady. She will be dying in two weeks. And she came to greet all of us. She's supposed to get married in December. That was also, I think, earlier December or something like that. I told her, I can pray for you. 
She said, no, in my, I say, I said, I can pick you to only if you can receive Jesus. I say, in my, in my, in my house, we don't do Jesus. I said, but you, you, you said to, she said to us, she will be dying in two weeks. I said, if I pray for you, you will not die. He said, no, I don't. And all the colleagues said, don't worry, Israel, just leave it. Leave her. Just be praying for her. Just be praying for her. So she prepared, because doctor said she will die. And she doesn't have a hope. She believes that she will die. And that's the end. There is nothing you can do. Now, they have to even protect themselves. So they're like, they will die. They don't need Jesus. Because we don't practice Jesus in our own house. It's very wrong. They have brainwashed them. They have. So Satan is using his. There, there's somebody who told me that somebody close to them will uh, die. In, you know, like you know, like they say, like he's terminal. Blah, blah, blah. So I didn't want to say much, but I said all I know is that they don't have the last words. Like you said, you said you pray to somebody about you. Say, eh, why is he looking? How did you say it? Is it in okay, it should, it should, it should, it should keep knocking. It should keep knocking. <laughs> you know, Jesus is knocking in your eyes. He should, he should, what is he looking at? He should, he should keep knocking. You know, he should keep knocking. You know. So the the word Jesus said was yeah. I remember one day when we, I think in uh, 2017 we went to sing all day. We went to preach, and I, we were talking to some small guys about Jesus. And the guys started, those guys started laughing at me. This Jesus is, is not wise. How can they say they want to nail him on the cross? And they nail me like Jesus was like, ah. and they were laughing. I was just like, what? You can see what Christianity has become. It's become a joke. That's right. So That's who do you want to preach Jesus to like? Um, but uh, but, but he, let me tell you, if you want to even start with preaching in this country, it may spray. not fully work. You have to pray first. Pray and you have to pray hard. If you are the only one standing, pray as if you are the it's only one praying. standing. Yes, pray. Pray. This is this is where. Uh, so many religions, so many everybody bring, bring their God from their country and come and stay here. No, it's because when, when they talk about freedom of religion, why is it that uh, Christianity is given such a hard time compared to other religions? Because they respect more other religions than they do Christianity. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Uh, this happened to me some years ago. At that time, I was a Catholic, and we used to go to church here. This church. Mm. I went and I parked here. The, the one here, the yeah, opposite. Yeah. Uh, On the side road here, yeah. At that time, it was double yellow. But I thought, okay, it is a public holiday. Yeah. Good Friday it was, so I went to church. When I came back, I got a ticket. Ah. Yeah. And I said, why? Eh? But don't you know, look, you don't need that. They're looking at showing me this thing that public holidays are not into. I said, okay, but if if I was you're going, where? you're parked in, uh, in the just church, parking, just outside here, on the main road, you know, this road here. Okay. Not the main road there, just on the side. And uh, then I got told when I asked the question, okay, but if this was like a Muslim place or a Hindu temple, why is it that they are allowed to have their cars parked there, no ticket? Yeah, but they get the exemption. From the gavel from the council, I said. So why is this not exempted? Well, you should ask your church. Oh. Yet this is supposed to be a Christian country. It was. Well, we need to pray, like you said, Pastor. There is. Amen. Not just us, a lot of us, all of us, and Amen. many of us need to pray. And you see, Bible, I say that it's too easy now. Yeah, well, they don't take any notice of that either. So, mm -hmm. see, they don't even have them in the hotels anymore. You know, I mean, before every hotel room you would go to anywhere in the world yeah. had a Bible. Yeah. They don't anymore. As I say, when you do live in the UK now, you don't see story of King James version again. Yeah. When Pastor did, it was very when interesting. I, did, I, don't, I don't see. It, it was, that very was one of the reasons why so I, I was, that I was I telling see. him. I said. You, you, you don't. I didn't see anything about. He said no. I said no. Wow. I saw how they brought Christianity to the UK. All those things they did, but the key UK James version because that I wanted to really read this thing. They are about now there are something pages for fifty questions. Mm -hmm. Very soon they will remove everything. Yeah. 
because they're starting to do that. Like you said, bro, you, keep, you have to keep praying. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Right. Uh, I want to say I want to say something. No one there. I was praying. I was I'm praying for. I don't want to mention the particular one thing. Mm. I say, okay, oh, God. I know. I want to. You know. I want to feel the impact that this prayer is making. So I want to. You know, some people who do a teaching on TV and say, I how I fought for this uh, thing, in the particular yeah. pa- evil power and. I say, God, I want to see the power that my, I mean, I am praying affected. that you're praying. Yeah. That is, you know what? <laughs> when I say I want to see, hmm? Holy Spirit interpret it like you want to, you either spiritually see the physical body shape of the person. Holy Spirit didn't interpret it like okay. that. When I say I want to see, when I slept that day, I took you, <laughs> I felt the appearance of the revelation of satan the works i felt like like i was fighting fighting so when i woke up i said ah, but he said but that is all you said he said you want to see i said yes but this is not i didn't see how probably my spirit man is fighting he said no well you're supposed to know better you don't interpret the way you want things in the name of the spirit, I say, okay, I don't want to see again. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, what I want to see is that I want to see like the a result. picture, like result. Yeah, I want to see the the positive side of it, like okay, well, oh, this is what is happening, or oh, okay, this because is because of the prayer. This yeah. is what has happened. Yeah, this is what I'm, I want to see, so that will encourage me to pray more. Though I've already made up my mind, I will pray, hmm. but you know, sometimes your spirit may. If you are just praying and you are not saying anything. Yeah. So when I said that, then yesterday, I saw at the entrance of that place, I saw a, a white temple. Amen. What? The gates. Yeah, the gate. at the entrance to that city, to that country, I saw a white, like a tarpaulin church. That's the gate. So like, the okay. results yeah, start. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I want you to know that the prayers the are way working. you pray is working but if you say you want to see how you fight yeah. the devil <laughs> amen so we have to keep praying yeah. amen. we have to keep praying or amen. else he said the gate of hell will not prevail it will not prevail is because of people are praying it will may prevail if you are not praying amen, amen. I like that. So the gates of hell will not prevail. Yes. Way. It's because God Himself knows that no matter how, He will still raise some men. Amen. Now imagine you have one of the people praying mm. for seven hours, mm. or let's say for three hours every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one of the people praying for three hours every day, that is 300 hours. Mm-hmm. So in one day, it's 300 hours. But you now see one person pray for three hours every day. Yeah? So that's three hours. You can't compare three hours prayer with three hundred hours. Three hundred three hundred. So one person will pray three hundred hours of prayers in one hundred days. So the job will be so much. Longer. Yeah? But the Bible says anyone that pray for the peace of Jerusalem shall be secured. So this is the this is a, this is one of the best way why you have to stand for your country, or else we will all come will be open here and then you will see bad news. We will be complaining and complaining and say government is not doing this, government is not doing that, and they will never do that. But don't watch CNN. Yeah. CNN is fake news. I think he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, but it's fake news. But they have created a bit of a false CNN fast. They're all fake mm-hmm. news because it's all with an agenda. You know, they've got the agenda to do what they need to do. So don't watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's let's just is there, is there anyone that pray, pray for the will be secure? Let's let's open Psalm. I'm close to that scripture. Psalm. Psalm one. 
Yes, verse 6. But I'd like to read it from verse 1. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand Number within. Number 1. Our feet. Yes. Feet shall stand. Yeah. Feet is talking about the work of feet. Feet is talking about feet. Okay. Yes. Our, Our feet, feet shall stand, stand within, within thy gates. Within thy gates, gate O Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You no, know, Jerusalem is a city. Mm -hmm. no. So sometimes these words are deep. Will we continue? Jerusalem is built yes. as a city, city that is compact that is come together. together. See, come and see how I underline those things. Mm. Feet, you know, I underline all of it. Continue. Uh, whither the tribes go up, mm -hmm. the tribes of the Lord, mm -hmm. unto the testimony of Israel, mm -hmm. to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For they are set thrones of judgment, mm -hmm. the thrones of the house of David. Mm -hmm. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. they shall prosper that love thee. Mm -hmm. Peace be within thy walls, mm -hmm. and prosperity, prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and my companions' sake, mm -hmm. sakes, mm -hmm. I will now say, Peace be within thee. Mm -hmm. Because of the house of the of the Lord our God, mm -hmm. I will seek thy good. Read the verses in NIV. Let me read it before. No, you I don't have NIV. Okay. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. Let me tell you, like I said, the Bible says, come through now. The, uh, the, the, um, Psalm 24. Yeah. The head is the law. Oh. And all those yeah. that dwell there. So, all these uh, Jerusalem, Nigeria, America, all those things, yeah? They are uh, in heavens. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? We also have the spiritual realm in heavens. Even to today, when you are praying, hmm? when you are praying, and God is sending angels, sending angels to the spiritual part of each of these people. Because spiritual control physical. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Don't forget, I say health is both spiritual and physical. Yes. This is the same UK we have. They are spiritual part of this UK, even within the UK. So if Satan wants to do something, he will not come to the physical world. He will go to the spiritual world sure. and do whatever he wants to do. So if God wants to do something also, he will go to the spiritual part of this UK and do what... So he said, anyone that loves... May those who love you be secure. Your security yeah, stands forever as an intercessor. Mm -hmm. But we so... He so... He so... It's, it's a pity that we only pray for our own thing. We don't even want to pray for the next neighbor, next family. Oh, he has done me wrong yesterday. God should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, no. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you be secured when you only think about yourself? God should kill everybody. And God is not keeping them, killing them. Now, if, if anything happens, it's your house. But they will come and destroy okay. first. So what if you are not praying, praying for everyone you don't know? As long as the person is created in the image and likeness of God. Because let me tell you, God has given this text to us. Yeah? But the whole focus of the heavens is upon the earth. Because the the person that God the the, the it is only men, men that God created in his own image. Because he didn't create the angels in his own right. image. So the focus of the heavens are upon the head. The focus of God are upon the head. Not the angels. So he wants to save everyone. Not everybody to do this. We will realize that they are not human, they are God. So if you are now praying for them, that's why that they are still see themselves as human, yeah, that they are still, most of them are still principality and power, but you are brought 
pray for them, pray for them, pray for them, pray that God, some laws that are implemented, God will remove, remove them. Plans of Satan, God destroy it. You are doing your own, doing your own thing in the realm of the spirits. Mm. I, I, I promise you, it's, it may be like it's doing, it's leading up bit by bit, small, 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 but you will get there. You'll be secure forever. No, no, no witches and witches that can kill you. No. Even around you will be angels around you, not just small, small angels. You are going like you are going in the realm of the spirit, and are following you. Thousands and millions of them. The reason why I look, I check if I wake up now, when I pray, the next thing is I look at the news. How do you think I'm current? Right now, everything that happening, I'm current. Because I'm looking for prayer points. I'm seeing, I'm looking for what Satan is planning that I can quickly start working on and start watching okay. again. But also, I'm, I'm still current. I know what is happening. Mm. But I'm not saying we should spend all our days in news. I only most because times I don't even because read it can I, come as a burden. Yeah, for God. most times I can't. I don't even yes, it can even be something that will not make you to meditate again. Sometimes I don't even read. I will just read the headlines. I will go to YouTube and just watch some things related to what happened, just to know details of what Satan is planning. So there are no way to put my prayers upon. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. This song is coming to my mind. He thou exalted O Lord above all heavens. He thou exalted O Lord above the heavens. Let the glory be above all the earth. Let the glory, let the glory be above. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you I saw, I saw something right now. What was the I saw a particular watcher that is looking upon a particular country, which I don't know. I saw a particular watcher. The eyes are torn. The eyes is not looking down the head again. A particular country. They are torn. It's not like he, he, it's not like he's blind. The eyes is like this eye just turn against the ball. Okay. So I think God is telling us to pray because God will always show us the enemy. So let's pray that God, any evil eyes working against this country, and like I said, I don't know the particular country. So if you are watching us, I want you to also stand in that and pray for your country that you have, or pray for the particular assignment that God has given you, the particular country that God has given you to be watching in prayers. That God should turn the eyes of those watchers that they will not be able to see and give signals to the kingdom of darkness and give information to the kingdom of darkness because sometimes they see what God is even about to start I mean, what God is planning or what God is about to launch so even if the intercessor you are praying and God is sending something they also give signals and see how they can work against it so I want you to pray in the name of Jesus Lord will pray against every watchers or every watcher all the watchers in the kingdom of darkness which are evil spirits watching against uh or seeing the, what God is planning to do or what God has started doing 
O Lord, we we turn their eyes against them. They will not be able to see. They will turn their eyes in the name of Jesus. We turn their eyes against their eyeballs in the name of Jesus. We turn their eyes against their eyeballs in the name of Jesus. We turn their eyes against their eyeballs. Their eyes will begin to work against them. Their eyes will begin to malfunction in the name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Anybody see anything to pray for? We are exalted, O Lord, among all heavens. We are exalted, O Lord, among the heavens. Let the glory be above all the earth. Let the glory, let the glory be above all the earth. Amen. Amen. You are blessed and highly favored. You are going in this place. You are going out this place. In Jesus' name, Lord, thank you. Amen. We pray that nothing will Come and steal the word that we've received in our heart in Jesus' name, Lord. Help that word in our heart to grow from the need to be glorified according to purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Blessed. Thank you for joining Amen. us. Amen. Yeah. And um, you never remain the same. Amen. Again, the gate of hell will not prevail over your own city. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And the gate of heaven will not prevail over the city that you are representing for God. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And um, join us Sunday or next week Wednesday as the Lord leads you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.